sweet potato is finished and boy what a beast it is So this is the final video of my build log for my new PC called Sweet Potato. And it is finished, it's just behind the monitor. Unfortunately, you can't see it because of space. I did want it to actually be in view, but in order to do that, I'd have to move it in and out every time I want to do B-roll. I'm, I'm too lazy for that. But it is there and it is an absolute beast of a machine. I've put the drivers on, I've put windows on, which we will talk about in a minute. And it went so fast, it blew my socks off. I honestly thought there was actually an issue with the installation of Windows because it went that fast. So the first thing that I do is I go into Cinebench to test out the score on my new system. My old system scored 3,767 in the multi-core BERT test. I'm only really testing multi-core because that's what I'm aiming at is multi-core. Out of the box, the new system scored 24,243. That is a massive difference between the two systems. On the old system, when it was running at max, which was at a 3.9 gigahertz on all cores, it was quite loud and ran to around 70 degrees. The new system, out the box, runs at all cores at 3.4 gigahertz and is around 70 degrees on the temperature as well. But with this new system, I learned that there's something called Precision Boost Overclock. I'm not too sure what ASUS call it, but that's the general term of it. And what it does is it tells the system, hey, this particular CPU is installed into the motherboard. It lifts the limits on the CPU to a reasonable amount where it's not becoming unstable. Now, I don't overclock as in picking what uh, gigahertz it's at, what voltage it's at. I don't want to do any of that stuff, but if the motherboard can do it for me and it still be 100% stable, let's give it a go. So I gave it a go. And lo and behold, it worked and it's stable. So now I have an all core boost of around 4.5 gigahertz. The temperature goes to a maximum of around 85 to 90 degrees, which on this CPU is perfectly okay. And of course, I always have the option of upgrading the CPU cool if I want to push it even further. And it's not very loud compared to the old system. I'd say it's actually quieter than when the old system ramped up. But the score is a big difference. The score was 27,724. As you can see from the screenshot, it beats an Intel 24-core Xeon processing system. Brilliant. This thing is tearing through my editing. I'm having no issues with editing. I did a 400 image stack yesterday. It tore through it, no problems. In fact, it kind of showed off because it was like, is that all you got for me? Bring it on. And I did a quick test live stream. And I live streamed at 1440p, 5000 on the bit rate, and it didn't drop any frames. I was even rendering out in Premiere while streaming. So I think we're going to be having a lot of fun on live streams in the future. Let's get back to Windows 10 Pro. On the official Microsoft Store, it cost £220. I was not going to pay that. I got my copy for £11.47p. Now, instead of me going through the video showing you how I did this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to link to Tech Notice in the comments below. Watch his video, he goes over it in more detail, and he also gives away a 25% off coupon code, which is what I used. And I went to Bob Keys, I bought the Windows 10 Pro, applied the discount code, so it come down to £11.47. I had my key instantly, as soon as payment was delivered, and Windows registered it perfectly okay, and everything is brilliant. All in all, I am very happy with the new system. But what does it mean for you? What it means for you is no more delays, no more excuses. The only thing that's holding me back now is my imagination and maybe the British weather. But I do have a backlog of videos I need to get done. I'm around 10 videos behind. I have an absolute ton of products behind me that are ready for review. I've just not been able to get on and do it because of the failing system and then obviously building this one. So. 
if you're into the whole macro photography thing, you are going to be seeing a lot of review videos coming up, but I will try and mix in macro photography and some outdoor videos as well. If you're into product reviews and product unboxings, you're going to love the next couple of weeks because I've got an absolute load of them coming your way. I've got the potato next to me here. All I've got to do now is decide what do we do with this system? There's nothing wrong with the system. It's just old. It can browse the internet perfectly okay. Homework can be done on it. We can watch YouTube videos on it. But that's boring. Let's do something interesting. Now, I've had a few suggestions. We've, uh, the first one we've suggested was to give it away to a school. But quite frankly, I think it's underpowered for a school. I'll be honest with you. Most of their laptops are more powerful than what this system is. So I might give that a miss. Another option for this old PC is to convert the case into a spider enclosure for tarantulas. Or more specifically, communal tarantulas. That might be an option. Or another option would be to convert the case and start grabbing potatoes in it behind me here. Since the name of this PC for the last three years has been the potato. Maybe you have a suggestion on what we can do with the old system. Let me know in the comments below. But for now, that's where I'll leave it. From Sweet Potato and from myself, again, as always, I'll see you on the next video. But with these new systems, there's something called, um, I forgot what it's called, overclocking with um, picking what um, was too, f the new score in Cine, another option that we have is to, Another option we have is to change the. Another option we have is to adapt the computer.